It is not those who say to me, Lord, Lord, who will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the person who does the will of my Father in heaven. When the day comes, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, cast out demons in your name, work many miracles in your name? Then I shall say to them, to their faces, I have never known you. Away from me, you evil men. Therefore, everyone who uh, listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a sensible man who built his house on rock. Rain came down, floods rose, gales blew, and hurled themselves against that house, and it did not fall. It was founded on rock. But everyone who listens to these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a stupid man who built his house on sand. Rain, rain came down, floods rose, gales blew and struck that house and it fell. And what a fall it had. Yeah, so Stephanie, how did you find the reading today? Well, when I was reflecting on that reading, I was thinking of um, earlier in the year when we had all this flooding and um, the power of water. And to me, it was something about, you know, um, God saying to me, um, if, if you're not careful, the, the things of this life and the things that you're trying to deal with can overpower you like that I if see. you haven't built a solid foundation. Right. It was a bit scary, actually. Yes, 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 it is. It's a very challenging reading, and I probably remember this as a child uh, being uh, told this in class or something, yes. had this read to us, and, yes. and, and remembering, um, being reminded that... Uh, you know, um, this this fact that you have to, you know, what's been said here is that your house has to be built on solid foundations mm -hmm. or the alternative, you know, which is mm -hmm. doom and gloom. And that's a very challenging thing. But I think uh, that we, uh, you know, maybe um, need not take it quite so literally um, and that maybe we could uh, think about what, what God might have been wanting us to hear in, in these words a little more a little more carefully so that what possibly, do you reckon that is yeah for you <laughs> <laughs> well that's right that's right so it's something about um uh what lies behind why would he have said this so more about the saying mm -hmm. more about the process mm -hmm. of conveying uh, meaning to us rather than you know what's what said. it is yeah. exactly right right stephanie so um yeah, I think that I think that there are um, things in there for us in the terms of in, a, in terms of a relationship with God. Possibly, maybe that's what you've referred to. That um, you know, God is wanting uh, possibly a world that is um, uh, in you know in in some likeness of Himself or something mm -hmm. like that. You know, that we're mm -hmm. we're reminded uh, through these words of the you know of a much a deeper sense of the world that God is uh, wanting to bring about and uh, you know this is not a literal kind of uh, thing here but more of a reminder possibly of yeah. God's power or imminence perhaps possibly. Yeah because I, I don't think God's out to get us which we could read into that. Um, yeah. I think God's out to remind us that if our lives, if my life is based on the love of God and the kingdom then mm. I'm going to be much more able to withstand the weathering of life, you know, the things that weather us as we go through our daily life. Right. Yes, that's a lovely metaphor, isn't it? That weathering and the whole message of weather and being and constantly mm -hmm. paying attention to that, which is always changing mm -hmm. and permanently changing, but uh, yeah. that's something we're, uh, we're always having to yeah. uh, confront. Mm -hmm. I guess that like having the foundation on rock is like having that still point in our lives which is Jesus or who is Jesus, right, yeah. where we can always go back to mm. and um, stay in touch with, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, yeah. of course. Mm. Yeah. yeah, a very powerful reminder, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, that's mm. lovely. Mm. And I suppose you as a dad, um, uh, you know, having to build your family on rock, so to speak, you know, so that when the weathering happens in the family, there's something there. Right, yes, yes, of course, uh, yes, um, I mean, family life is extremely chaotic and very full on and mm. continuously mm. being, um, 
you know, buffeted by all sorts of pressures and uh, mm. things. It's, it's very hard to uh, find, um, you know, a, a, a deeper, you know, rock or something, mm. some, something foundational in that at all. Uh, but nonetheless, it is, um, you know, as a parent, you're kind of uh, reminded to be um, that you've got a, you know, a part to play in the mm. in the upbringing and this unfoldingness of your child or something like that and you know it reminds you about what what your um, experience was as a child and being parented before but uh, you know and some things you want to repeat and others you want to set aside so it's a very tricky uh, thing to um, you know to figure out exactly but uh, you know it's, it is great to have a faith and it's good to be uh, to come back to that mm -hmm. because you obviously you want the best for your child you know you really every Absolutely. parent does you know and and if you can form your child in that kind of basic tenets of faith that will stand them later in life when they get buffeted well true <laughs> yes yes that's right I mean that's going on in many ways as well that formation uh, in in faith but um, yeah no certainly um, parents have you know do have to stop and remind themselves about the role that they're, the deeper role that they're playing towards bringing their children to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. really and, and, and know that those of us who aren't parents, and I'm a Catholic sister, we, um, we pray for parents and we pray right. for families because mm -hmm. the family is the building block of, of um, our church, of our lives. Okay. And we've all been in families, of course. Yes. <laughs> and Jesus was there, you know, let the little children come to me. I mean, he was always there for families, you know. Right, right. And I think that's a great thing to remember when we um, hear a gospel. Like okay, okay. So when you hear this on Sunday, I hope you remember that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. That's a great reminder. Yes, yeah. I will, of course. Yeah. Definitely. Good.